As the sun rises in Zaleka refugee camp, people know that they've got to do something to make it through the day. Malawi law is one of encampment. Refugees do not have freedom of movement, right of employment, nor the opportunity for local integration. The survival food they receive from the UN is equivalent to 120 Malawi kwacha or 15 US cents per day. In Zaleka market, refugees and Malawians work side by side. They are each other's customers and suppliers. Peaceful coexistence is already a reality here. An outstanding refugee entrepreneur who prefers to remain anonymous came to Zaleka in 2001 and has lived in the camp ever since. From the onset, he earned the trust of his Malawian neighbors. Although he did not complete primary school and lived through a very poor childhood, him and his wife are a shining example of business success. They began with farming by renting lands from local villagers, then opened a small grocery shop in the camp. The couple now have several phone credit kiosks, a hardware store, animal and vegetable farms, and a small fleet of trucks. Their favor over the years has extended to the relationships with Malawian suppliers, manufacturers, and customers. The couple employ 20 people all within the refugee camp. 10 are Malawian and 10 are refugees. Onurin Ngabire is a Rwandese single mom of three. She manages to support her children by running a restaurant in the camp and occasionally catering for special events sponsored by NGOs in Zaleka. David Daisenga came to Zaleka when he was five years old and lost his father when he was 11. Without his dad to provide for the family, David dropped out of secondary school. He began to pick up the welding trade with the help of compassionate people in the community. As he generated an income, he slowly procured the tools to set up his own business. Today, David is a soft-spoken man running a loud workshop. He provides free training to fellow refugees and employs three people. Mr. Anderson Talimbanazo is a Malawian goods transporter from Chimbalanga village in TM Sakambewa. His business heavily relies on the presence of the refugee camp where people need him to move building materials and agricultural produce. He says that the relationship between Malawians and refugees has been positive and mutually beneficial. The level of economic activity in the refugee camp has grown to the extent that my banks opened the first bank branch there in 2018. The bank is an important partner for this resilient and resourceful community, whose lack of a legal document would exclude them from accessing banking services elsewhere. Although some have found means to supplement the UN rations, for the majority of refugees, the legal restrictions are simply too limiting, and they rely on the little aid they receive. 